cotton hidden in the clouds there, but look at this orange. Yeah. This is kind of our color for the fall, it seems. It's where it's just we're at. Kind of the rusty brown. Yeah, there just aren't as many. Like, I knew when I was going down, uh, I think I was going down 25 maybe through Maine, and there's a lot of like swamp maple areas, and they mm. were meh. And that's usually where like super color. vivid yeah. stuff. Whatever. I mean, our bad we falls will enjoy it aren't anyway. terrible, but certainly this is on the muted side, especially for mm. this area. Uh, and we'll start dropping those leaves pretty soon too. Like, Very I'm quickly. I'm excited to see them actually in my yard coming down. <laughs> I was just looking for some the other day. Uh, you ever see the guys, Brian, come in with like the giant vacuum and yes, vacuum and up just leaves? vacuum it all up? Yeah, I would love for that to happen for me. <laughs> I, 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 it's I, not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, probably not. I'll take a look at the price and probably, nah, never mind. I'll just do it myself. Here's a look at the visible satellite. Got a lot of clouds out there. You can see in that Katahdin shot, we do have some sun right along the southern coastline into the mid coast, but most of us clouded out. And as I mentioned, not a very good job by global or mesoscale models on the amount of showers today because the placement was right, but there's, the, these are bigger clusters than I would have anticipated towards Bar Harbor and then into the Greenville area too. And a couple of little quick downpours embedded in that. It's either that or, and I'd love to hear from you on the ground, or small hail because when there's cold air aloft, it's quite easy to produce small hailstones even if there's no thunderstorm involved. So there's that upper level low. It's been here all week. Notice it kind of drifted just a tiny bit to the south and east, and I think that's why we ended up with a few more showers than I would have anticipated, but I think the overall vibe of the day is the same. It's cloudy, temperatures right around 60 degrees or so. As you head into the mountains, it is cooler, and that is obviously a sign of the season, but the cloud cover too, to only be in the upper 40s in the middle of the day here. That is on the brisk side. Tonight actually won't be all that cool because those clouds hang around. You can see that on this model. It keeps the clouds around. Remember, clouds insulate us overnight, so we tend to be a little bit warmer when we have cloud cover. That'll keep us in the 40s and even some 50s in a lot of spots by early tomorrow morning, so it won't be quite as crisp as the last few mornings have been. And then tomorrow we see a mixture of sun and clouds leading to some showers in the afternoon. I think this is our best chance of kind of widespread shower activity is gonna be Thursday afternoon. And then within that, I'd say the best chance is the mountains and foothills. But even along the coast, a few showers could break off later in the day. And notice the intensity is just a tad bit higher here. So again, that could be either a quick thunder shower or it could be um, a shower with small hail because the cool pool is aloft there. Should be in better shape on Friday. Not a big change, but temperatures will be in the low 60s and there'll be uh, dry conditions for most of the state. Then we head into the weekend. So basically, the models have held that storm where it was yesterday, which is south of us, but not quite as far south of us as I'd like. But I, I would say that as it stands, this is Saturday afternoon. Look, I don't love that. It's, it's pretty close, but it's better than it was. I mean, earlier in the week, it was like right over us and it was just a complete rain out. So I think we're gonna see increased clouds on Saturday, especially over far southern Maine. If you go down to Portsmouth, you might catch a quick shower Saturday afternoon. But the important thing is the storm then goes to the south on Sunday and doesn't recurve in time to hit us. So this is obviously quite close, but at this point, I think we should keep the weekend dry it's just a little bit tenuous and fairly cloudy. In fact, you look at the rainfall amounts for us and there's basically nothing, but you can see it cuts off, you know, along the 495 belt. But I think, I think we're going to be okay. I, we pulled this one out of the uh, jaws of defeat, Brian, because it did not look good last week. I, and again, I don't think it's a picture perfect weekend. There's a lot of clouds, but compared to where it had been, and I know like as a parent of a five-year-old, cloudy is a lot different than rainy as far as what we can do. So, uh, so I think Todd put it well. Looks like a miss. Obviously, we'll keep watching it. At this point, it looks like we'll be okay, though. So we'll have a reasonable weekend forecast okay. at least. Good news there. And Luke is old enough to rake now, by the way, right? Yeah. You don't need that big vacuum guy. To yeah, come he likes it, but his, his follow-through on like <laughs> it being a pile is not great. It's, it just yeah. kind of moves it around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, Keith, thanks.